Hi, so today I want to show you how to use the ball and keg, uh, keg level indicator. First off, with your kit you're going to get a float like this, has a magnet inside it. You're going to want to relieve the pressure off your keg of course, open the lid, and drop the ball, the float, into the keg. Uh, before you do that of course you want to sanitize it, and if you've sanitized it you can put it in with a set of tongs, or a spoon or something like that that's sanitized, but for this demonstration I'll just drop it in. With your kit, you're also going to get a black ceramic disc magnet like this and several of these orange BBs like that. Uh, they're orange indicating beads. Um, to, to get it located onto the keg, all you need to do is stick the BB directly onto the magnet. Okay. So I'm going to come over here, take a quick peek in, see where the float is located in the keg so that I can grab it with this magnet. And I'm going to grab it just like that, move it to where I want. Let's say I want it to this side of the keg. Okay, you can see that this magnet is, is in communication with the, the ball inside the keg. And to make the orange bead stay on the keg, all you need to do is gently pull this away. Um, now you're good to go. You can see if I rock this a little bit. That's floating on, the float inside is on the level of the beer, and that's indicating the level. Uh, as you drink your beers, it'll, it'll drop down, and when the bead hits the bottom of the keg, you've got about one beer left. Maybe a half beer, depending on your keg. So you'll know exactly where you're at the whole time couple of tips, or one tip anyway, if you want to if you want to move the keg inside your uh, keyser or inside your uh, kegerator after you've installed the ball or even before you've installed the ball, all you have to do, you can go like this, you can, before you put it on, you just put the magnet right on there like that, and now I can move the keg all I want. You can see if you have to put it into a keg, uh, you know, tilt it some or whatever, that's going to hold it. This magnet is going to hold right on there. Once I get it in place in the refrigerator, I can put the bead on there and just very simply pull it off again. And we're done. That's it. Once it's in place, this is just going to move on down. You always know where you're at. Of course, you put the lid back on, charge it up with CO2, purge it a few times to get the air out, and you're ready to go. Uh, we recommend that if you're going to do it uh, before you carbonate the beer, that's fine. But uh, we test them and we suggest you keep them below 30 PSIG. If you carbonate higher than that for some reason, we'd recommend that you uh, put it in after you carbonate. And thank you very much. We'll go downstairs now and see how it works in the kegerator. Now we're going to show you how the ball and keg works in action. You can see the indicator on, on both kegs, but on this one, I put a little line. Just so It's a little easier to see it drop uh, as I tap a beer, and I'm going to do that right now. And there you go. That's about a pint of beer.